Welcome to Toolhut Channel. Today we have a 2013 Honda Odyssey. Needs an update on the PGM FI or engine control module or ECM to everybody that's not Honda. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. Okay, so... We're going to do an update on the PGM-FI, or ECM, or engine control module, on a 2013 Honda Odyssey. I am using the DSTI uh, interface for the Honda tool, just like the dealer would use. I have purchased a subscription from techinfo.honda.com, or something like that, Toyota Tech Info, essentially service express it's techinfo.honda.com that's how i'm going to do it we're going to use that as the interface and we're going to get to it stand by okay so we're going to open up the honda software the first thing you do is you pick the ecu j2534 rewrite so it's going to go through some checks here after we've done the the rewrite choice. So you're going to hit start. It's going to tell you your database version. I'm going to tell us connect the PC to the vehicle or the internet. And it wants a repair order number. It has to be six digits. Just pick six digits. Nobody cares. Go search the systems for that have available updates. You'll see that the PGM-FI and the AVS VSA both have updates. I do perform both of the updates, but I've only recorded uh, the PGM. So it's exactly the same process for the AVS as it is for the PGM, with the exception of resetting the all of the adapts when you're done with ABS, but you do that with the scan tool, which is easy to do. It tells you what to do at the end, so we're just going to let it do its system search here, make sure there's nothing else that needs an update, and we're going to hit select for the PGMFI. It's going to tell us what the convert number is and what the part number is going to be when we're done. Press enter to start the control module programming. You'll notice it doesn't really give you a whole lot of information. And then it just tells you, do not turn off the ignition. And it's going to do the update. I have not sped, th sped this up, so I want you to see how fast these Hondas go. I've programmed very few Hondas. And... A lot of times you'll hook them up for an update and the update's already been done. Uh, so it's kind of unusual that this one actually had an update and they're typically pretty fast. I've had, I don't know that I've ever had a Honda fail during programming. I do have my maintainer plugged into it and like say I'm using the DST-I uh, from Denso for the Honda for, that I purchased from Honda for doing this. And then I'm using this subscription. The hardest part about doing a Honda is downloading the stupid software. So be prepared. Be hardwired to your internet when you decide to uh, download your software. Because it will take time. And it used to be before I found a laptop that was dependable for Honda that I would download it onto three different laptops uh, because the chances are only one of them was going to work but they have fixed that so it says turn the ignition off 
and then it says turn on the ignition within 60 seconds. Again, it gives me my part numbers. That's our money page, guys. That is it. That's all there is to them. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Questions or comments down below. Have a great while you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below.